Greetings, everyone, and welcome to White Falcon Plays. You guessed it, a demo. You guessed it, Steam Fest. We're going to try Railroads and Catacombs. In this exciting card building, roguelike game, you create your cards from scratch, adding different upgrades, build your train, explore this mad land, and face fearsome bosses. Discover infinite synergies. How far will we go? How far does this train go until it starts going back again? Alright, let's go for it. What do we got? We got two different characters. You need to be a... Oh, select two Warpaths to create your deck. Extremely defensive. Deals damage using your armor. Beware of perforated attacks. Okay. Alright, and... Gambler. Powerful draw mechanics. Maximum cards in your hand. Very agile, will pass but weak. So it sounds pretty good to go together, actually. Um, let's press the arrow. Select our background. We are a survivor. You have never known what it's like to feel safe. Your only goal is to get out of this cursed and full land full of madness. We've got bones. Card actions for your cards. Starting cards. Sanity and hit points. Alright. The journey. Level 1. Finish off this creature. Uh, 30 more experience with this combination. Okay. New journey. Here we go. Oh yeah. Select destination. Oh, quite quick. Engineering cabin. Build weapon workshop. Unleashed in full game. Do we just go straight there? It's literally the only place I can go, so that sounds good. Finish off this creature. Let's do it. We can walk. WASD. Got it. Ooh. This is the map of the area. Pay special attention to it. Take a look at the map legend. It's recommended that you explore the area a bit and prepare yourself before going to the boss. Straight to the boss. Okay, that's the legend. Legend, a mighty malignant, uh, mal malignity. Can't even say the word. Roams around here. A group of de depraved creatures. Something valuable. Something mysterious. Just a bare piece of land. An unexplored segment. Okay. Bam! You can see your starting cards here. Your starting cards differ depending on which two warpaths you choose. Alright, it's kind of like you can move, fight, and stuff. I like it. Build your cards by adding card actions. Five bones required. Notice when your button is activated. <coughs> sorry. Notice when your button is activated because it means that you already have enough bones to add more. Choose one card action to customize a card. Plus one damage per two of your character's current armor. Plus two damage each time you draw a card this turn. Uh, is this what this is adding to the card? Okay, magic damage, close combat, <laughs> little stick figures. Uh, range damage, so it's probably good to have a range damage on this one. Alright, let's do... That one. Why does it say zero? Is that because we've got zero armor at the moment? This is your sanity. You are losing it as you explore the world. Once it reaches zero, you start to lose hit points. To recover sanity... You can use the rest button, two wood required. To recover your hit points, you can use the drink button, three supply required. Okay. All right, we can only go down, is that right? What looks like on the map to me. What's this? How, can we bring this up bigger? Here we go. Oh, no. But there's a drink icon here. Huh. Looks like that was it. 
kind of a cool system here. Battle fight. You have four stamina per turn. Your cards need stamina to be used. Set a strategy before playing the first one. When you want to use a card, drag it with the left mouse button. Uh, when you want to use a card, drag it with the left button mouse. Use it. Now drag it to the square where the character is on. Do you want to add the effect of that card? Okay. Use the arrow on the card to point to the square and drop it when you see that the contour of the yellow match. Okay, I'm going to get that. Wait, there's that many creatures around me? Oh my goodness. Three armor. There's something. What's wrong with their nose? One health. It's got a cigarette. Two something. Kill champion. One something. Two health, two armor, three health. All right, all right. Well, three will kill that guy, wouldn't it? Each shield gives immunity to a single attack. Okay. And what's the purple mean? Oh, it just means it's shielded, maybe? All right, well, we should be able to take him out. So he shields once, and then we kill him. Gone. Oh, everyone's dead. Bones, supplies, and wood. Oh, select one. Everyone's dead when we kill the commander. All right. What's that? Plus one armor per card played. That's different than last time, isn't it? Plus one armor per card played. Uh, armor lasts one turn. Okay. Draws one card when you use it. It's not bad. It's kind of cool. Draws a card. You can double it. Draws two cards. Can you add multiple things to one? You can too. Interesting, guys. Interesting. So we can't go anywhere else here. And the sanity just loses as we walk or as we go past. Okay, so it looks like you can explore. But as soon as you go into a new path, it goes down. Okay. I get you. Alright, what else do we have? Plus one damage per stack to all direct damage sources. Last two turns. Each time you draw a card, gain plus one cheat stack. Last two turns, each cheat adds plus one damage to all damage. It's the same thing about every time you draw a card. Can you put that onto like this? And then that would combo? Put some wood. Alright. What do we got down here? Question mark could be anything. Oh, oh, we got some more wandering souls. Select your position. All right, none of them are champions this time. They've got some weird noses, I'll tell you that much. Okay, five armor. Have we got any piercing attacks? Offers protection to this enemy against damage, it can be destroyed. Yep, 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 yep. How much damage do they do? We have no idea. I don't know, mate. My turn. Draw a card. Armor lasts one turn. So, like, his arm is going to go. So, I, that was silly, wasn't it? Okay. Alright, we'll see what happens. Enemy turn. Whoa. Oh, it's like tactical. Okay. Who's doing that? You're doing that way. What's that? Always deals as much damage as current armor has this character. Okay. How do we know what he's doing? Nothing. That guy and that guy are doing their attacks. What's this? Strange reflex. 35% chance, chance to reflect any direct attack and not disease to a random character. Ooh. Plus one damage per two of your character's armor. Okay. Okay.
Didn't that shouldn't that increase my damage? Where where's my stacks of stuff? Okay, I got cheetah. Plus one damage per stack to all direct damage sources last two turns. Okay. So this is direct damage. Okay, it works. Four damage. Okay. Um, so let's see if I can get this right. So I can then move here, there, and then do this. Seven damage? Should have looked at that a bit harder. That's a lot of damage. Okay, cool. Alright, now he's shooting me. This guy's got two something on him. Smelly kiss! Oh my gosh. Deals two damage and pushes back the first character in straight line. No thanks. No thanks, mate. Alright, we've got the same thing again. This is cool. Jump over here. Take this guy out for four. Six. Damage to armor does not count. Okay. Oh, yeah, because this lasts over turns. I lost it all though. I thought it was last two turns. A bit confused with all that. Oh, I should have uh, got some armor first. Oh, he's dead anyway. Don't even worry about it. Um, let's get two bones then. If we get one more wood, then we can camp twice. That probably sounds like a good idea. Alright, set to explore. I like exploring. That's what we'll do. But we're already finding trees. Oh, what's in here? Pick up. Some teeth. Who's leaving their teeth lying on the floor? Okay. Got two teeth. We're losing sanity quick. But we've got some camps. Okay. Should we camp? Does it matter when we do it? Do we gain all of our sanity back? Do we get attacked? All these questions. Yeah, because trees are just a bare piece of land. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. 2.7. So this will be like our last one. Then we'll then we'll make camp. Alright, let's use some rest. Okay, you get a decent amount. What if anything happens when you sleep for too much? We've got enough to heal ourselves as well, so that's good. What the heck is this over here? Just a massive tooth as a tree. Fight time. Alright. Standard guys. What do we got? We've got this. So we could do... We could do massive damage with this, I think. So let's do something like that. Let's just go here. We draw a card. We've got one stack of that. This is... Then we can increase our armor. No, we can't. We can draw again. Alright, this gives us... Five damage. We can move here. Deal immense amounts of damage. Just point at him and he dies. Done. What are these things? Oh, there are cards. Okay. Okay, so we don't have many cards. We're doing the same thing. So you can really pin down what you want to do. Alright. Let's uh, try a magic attack. What the heck? Didn't think that should work that way, but that's all right. Um, what's this? Iron. That seems important. No idea what it does though. All right. The say iron. Fight. So this is the boss. Unfortunately, we can't instantly kill him. But it looks like they don't attack you on the first turn. So let us do what we can here.
What's all that? Are they all buffing themselves? And not attacking me? So this guy dies. Right, what's that little eye mark? This enemy always hits you with his skill independently of where you are. Okay. So we do this. And everyone else dies. Huh. Three teeth sounds good because then we can use one of these upgrades. Hollow Sin. Return damage equal to your current armor when you receive a direct attack. Does not work with disease. Last one turn. No stackable. No stackable. Uh, card dealer. When you play this card, save the total damage and the targets of this card. Attack them again with the same damage at the beginning of your next turn. Whoa. Okay. Good for bosses. Okay. 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 Let's put it on this one. Okay, this is cool. Do, 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 do. All right, all right, guys. Another boss. We can't get to him very easily. Can we, can we kill him anywhere, even if someone's in the way? Potentially. Let's see what this does. So if we... Oh, wait there. We didn't move in the right spot, though. No, he's in the way. Okay, fair enough. Alright. Oh, but we could... Theoretically, take him out with this. No. Okay. Oh! I got attacked instantly. So some of them do do stuff straight away. Okay. We should be fine. Oh, is there two bosses? No. Easy. We'll get some more iron. It's probably good for our train when we get back. Alright. I don't know how far to go because we're going to run out of stuff. Just exploring all the woods. Pile of bones. Always a single bone, not more than one. Be cool if this light lit, lit up the area around you. That'd be a cool little effect. Some more bones. One more bone. And we have enough for a new card. Okay. Eight. A single we have to hit him twice, though. Anticipate. A skill or attack with anticipate doesn't warn you in the previous turn. Okay, so this guy is going to attack us. So we could kill him. We need four damage. Ripper. This enemy attacks if you enter or start the turn in an adjacent square dealing two damage. Okay. But we could... Gain. Did I just give it to him? Hope not. Heavy attack. Oh, I stuffed it. I might have stuffed it. All right, and then we attack this guy. We can. I can attack anywhere. So it doesn't say how much it'll do, but it's doing plus. Oh, it does. So it's doing four damage. Okay, this is doing five damage. So we do it to that. Eight damage? We could have killed that guy, nearly. Okay. Ripper, plus four current hit points, hit points next turn. Oh, okay, it's telling me what's going on. Okay. Oh, he attacked me instantly in my turn. Okay, I'm confused a little bit. It must be this enemy attacks you if you enter or start. Enter or start. Okay. Alright. We got a lot of damage now though. Seven. Twelve. Seven and twelve. Alright. Um let's get bones. 
each time you draw a card, gain that. Plus two damage each time you draw a card this turn. I don't think we'll add that because it'll get too confusing. Um, no stackable. I thought it was stacking. Returns damage equal to your current armor when you receive direct attack. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just do that. We'll put it on. We'll deck this one out. Oh, I didn't know it was the same thing. Okay. I thought it was just armor. I forgot what I was doing. All right, let's carry on. But we can put two of the same on it. Oh, we're near. We have to sleep. So what does this mean? It's night time now is that worse okay we're gonna kill everyone so if we start here does he attack us instantly no so that might be a good thing to do so we'll draw one we can gain So this will do a ton of damage. Who do we want to take out? Crimson Armor offers protection to the enemy against damage. It cannot be destroyed. Okay. Gone. Okay. What's that? Uh, deals two damage anywhere. Always invalidates a random card in your hand next turn. Okay. All right. May as well put that on. I don't think we save any. All right, you're going to block my card. You don't seem to be attacking me though. But I can't actually. Oh, but we can draw to potentially get a movement card. And then we can take you out. Nice. All right. Uh, well, two. That seems pretty good. All right. Not that we really need it now. All right. Should we try this bot? We'll go over here first. Well, we've explored everywhere. Out. Kill the champion. Could be easier said than done. All right, let's see what we can do here. Draw two. This is going to do five now. This is going to do a ton of damage. Deals damage does not need to strike line vision when the target plus one damage per two armor. So it's, realistically, it should just be four damage, but it seems to do more than that. Why is it doing 13 damage? A little bit confused there. All right, we're doing good so far. Let's take on the boss. 25 HP. So I think we kill the small dudes first. This should be fine. I don't know what. 35% uh, chance of putting it. Office protection. Okay. Nothing's going to happen instantly to me. So that's good. So this will do. This will be enough to kill him. No. Why didn't that work? There's no combat log. But I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be 5 damage. I think we take hit this guy because it's going to do so much damage. Oh, he's got protection. Did I not see that? Oh, he put it onto someone else and it hit that guy. Okay. Alright. Okay, we've got a lot of things happening. Oh, another person popped up. It's just massive sword comes out of nowhere. I love it. All right, four damage. That's six damage. 
How much damage is this going to do? Five. Hmm. Can't do much about it. We'll just take a damage here. Oh. Is that going to hit me anywhere, is it? Oh, because he's standing next to me. Now he's going to hit me. What does this do? Plus one attack per turn to a random square, dealing three damage on each in each attack. All right, we need to take this guy out, it seems like. So that'll just do three, and he'll reduce it by one. Is that what I'm looking at here? Let's get him out of the way. Always forces to move you to a first position of your turn. To the first position? What? I don't want to go to the first position. Alright, I guess we get a, a hit off here. Oh, could we have got to her if we moved sideways, sideways? Potentially. Nice. Oh, but that's not that nice, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Alright, holy moly. All right. All right, because it's got two on it. Does that mean we can move two squares? All right. Oh, no. Oh, all right. Let's move forward. Let's try and hit this guy again. We'll use that attack. He's gonna hit he's hitting us for one damage each turn. What is this guy doing? Deals two damage to the first character in a straight line. Okay. Can we attack sideways? Don't know. I can't move sideways anyway. I could move here and kill him. Get out of his pathway. Alright, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. That. And then. What the heck? He can redirect it at me? Random character. Oh my goodness. Okay, how are you supposed to kill him? Always applies disease. No, I don't want disease on me. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my goodness. He can just teleport wherever he wants as well. My goodness can't attack sideways another one of these guys oh my god all right let's try and armor ourselves up a little bit before we do it but wow it's only a 35 percent chance and he's done it every single time Oh, will they hit each other? Oh, I'm lucky that wasn't me. Oh, Jesus. I can't get to that guy. Unless I get my magic attack. Mm. 
Okay, okay. Um, what's he doing this time? Gaining armor? Always deals as much damage as you currently have armor. Oh, come on, mate. Come on, mate. Oh. Well, we either kill him, he kills us, or he kills the other dude. God damn it. Is it a certain amount of damage you do to him he does that? It doesn't seem to block the seven. Any direct attack. What's she gonna do to me? Always deals two damage. Okay. I suppose I should have moved there because he's gonna move over there. So I just have to do two damage to him. This game, a little bit of armor first. Jeez. Oh, man. So, am I reading that right? It's 20... 35% to redirect it. Oh, goodness. Uh, okay. Two damage. I'd like to see if he kills him. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Let's defend ourselves. Oh! Jeez Louise, mate. We got him! Holy moly! Holy moly. Unlocked card action. Conquer. Start of each turn. Oh, nice. Wait, uh, oh, each turn after disease damage. Plus one armor at the start of each turn after the disease damage until the end of turn. Okay, end of fight. That's good. Plus one draw per card played. Okay. Background improved. Level achievement. Total damage received. Okay, okay, okay. Back and rest and train. Bonus activated. Okay. So let me go back to town. To, to the base and then we do this armor enhancer okay then we're going to unlock new stuff as we go cool and we can unlock other stuff as we go triple okay cool okay i think that's all there is for the demo at this moment full game full game full game these have been bonused Okay. Oh, then we go level two, which is harder to beat these creatures in the same journey. Okay, cool. We see what it's all about. Okay, that's cool. So we'll leave it there because we've um we've hit this thirty minute kind of area, which is good for a let's try. Uh, but that's kind of cool. I like that as well. There's a lot of cool games coming out. So this is railroads and catacombs, catacombs. I'll uh, put the link in the description so you can wishlist this or play it yourself. Uh, and I'll probably come and play this again a bit later. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like these series and other things I, and to watch other things I do, be good to subscribe. 
like the video really helps me out and that's it thank you guys for watching white falcon out do 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 do